Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, new chapter where we'll be focusing on CFCs. Now this chapter will go more in depth of this language. The first part or the first chapter we looked into a more procedural approach in CFML. In this chapter we'll try to look into how we can integrate two files or how we can integrate a class-like component structure implemented inside Cold Fusion. Now, you might have some experience with other programming languages, especially the ones which are known as the object-oriented programming languages. So when we talk about objects, obviously we need to uh, also mention about the classes because classes act like a template of creating that object. Or for example, uh, the example that I always use or the um, the example that I always use to explain is like you might have a plan for a building. That plan which was created by an architect only exists in uh, in, in, in a theoretical basis. It, it's only in drawing. It does not exist as a real object in our real life. It does not exist as a real structure or as a real uh, building. Uh, uh, that stands on a piece of land. So a class is somewhat like that. It's just like a design. It has no real existence inside the computer's memory except the file that it is contained in. So just remember it's only a theoretical uh, design for what uh, your uh, uh, object would be like. So objects in programming perspective are, can be referred like a real-life object so when we talk about creating an object we obviously need a design so that class or in our context for CFMO uh, we know it as a component so this component defines the behavior and the action of that object so uh, for example our uh, building the architect designed a building. It has certain properties. It's it's going to have a parking lot. Uh, it's it's going to have uh, apart apartments. Uh, it's going to have um, rooms. It's going to have windows, balconies. Uh, it's also going to have a roof, and many other properties. And f if we talk about functions. Uh, or if we talk about actions it's going to have suppose it's going to have its own water supply system maybe uh, I mean it's going to uh, implement the mechanism for pulling in water for its residents it's also going to have the mechanism or it's going to have perform uh, it's going to pull in electricity for its residents. So these are somewhat like actions that require doing something in the context. But properties does not require action. They're just like how many hands or how many legs or how many eyes uh, do we have. They're just like properties. Um, maybe your hair color m might be black or it might be blonde. So that's a property. But action is something like a verb. In uh, if we talk about uh, grammar in um, in in English language, so it defines an action. A verb actually uh, relates something to an action. So, in programming perspective, especially when we talk about the CFML language, our component can have properties and methods. Now. In other programming languages, variables defined inside a class is known as a property. But in in CFML's context, uh, in, when we define a variable inside a component, it is known as uh, as as an attribute. And obviously, it's going to need to use the keyword that is known as attributes. We'll be looking into examples after I may, uh, clearly distinguish between what we are going to do in this chapter. We are going to primarily focus at the uh, initial stage on how to create a component. Now, we mixed up all the programming logic inside one CFM file. A CFM file is like a template. A CFM file is like a layout for your website, 
but in this section we will be looking into creating component and how to uh, separate our programming logic into a different file that we will name and use the extension as .cfc this will be a new file so a .cfc uh, uh, a file that has a .cfc extension is actually a component file or if it, if you're from a different programming uh, background you might even consider it to be a class although we call it a component in, in CFML you might be using uh, the CF script tag and define your methods a method is a typically like a function so a function as we were talking about if you're new to programming and if it, if this is your first language if you're uh, if you talk about a function is that it defines an action so like we were talking a human being can perform certain actions like we can walk we can run we can um, maybe we can talk that's an action I guess yeah so those are all verbs and as I've already told you in in English a verb relates to a certain action in real life so when we talk about action in programming perspective and we want to define how an object how an object will uh, perform something in its own context will be defined by the methods inside the component and uh, a method also has a different name when we talk about a procedural programming approach it's known as a function but when we talk about an object oriented approach it's known as a method so you might be a little confused if you're new to this but simply remember a function whether it be a function whether we call it a function or whether it be a uh, whether we call it a method it will always define a certain action and obviously an, an attribute is like a is like a property like you might have black hair that's not an action that's that's your uh, ca feature so just remember that an attribute inside a component a cold fusion component is like a feature it describes an object and a function or a method uh, defines an action for that object so when we talk about components it will obviously have attributes and if you're familiar with other programming languages it we uh, you can uh, relate attributes with properties so properties are basically variables that which are defined inside a class and because we're going to use components inside CFML and we're going to refer to the variables defined inside the components as attributes we are always going to refer to it as attributes so I hope you will remember that now when we talk about components it can have methods and after we define our component inside a file with the extension .cfc, we can then ref uh, refer to that file inside uh, another one, inside another file that will be our template file. So we already have, we already saw how to create our Cold Fusion template files. Um, those template files has the ex uh, those template files have the extension of .cfm now how do we differentiate between a component how do we refer to I mean how do we call a component inside a template file it's really simple we're going to use uh, we're going to create an object inside our uh, call fusion template file and then we're going to use the create object uh, create object function perhaps to call the component along with its name and we're going to call the uh, constructor method we'll be discussing about the constructor method because the constructor method is always very important it's the start the constructor method is the start starting point 